What's up, people? How y'all doing, man? We still on quarantine, trying to stay out the way, stay in the house. I woke up feeling a slight headache, a little bit of sniffles, a sneezing and coughing a bit. From yesterday, I was out and about running around and taking care of a couple of things, but I ain't leaving the house no more, man. Anyway, y'all use this time to, you know what I'm saying, work on yourself. Start, you know what I'm saying, examining your life and start setting some goals so when this thing is over with, y'all know what to do with yourselves, man. And you know what I'm saying, work on yourself, exercise, read. Let me give y'all some advice, man. Go to lifeintherapgame.com and get my new book I just wrote, man. I know on the motivationalbum.com, you have to buy the CD and then get the book. Well, on lifeintherapgame.com, you only got to get the book. You can buy the book. You can buy the CD if you want, but you can buy the book. Church. Don't forget to hit the like button, hit the subscribe. Y'all pray for me, man. Y'all pray for me. I hope I ain't got the Rona Rona. Yesterday was kind of like a slow boogie for us. We've been trying to stay at home, but today it is Tuesday and I have a doctor's appointment. Okay, so that means that I have to step outside today. Okay, and my doctor's is at the damn hospital, so I'm a little like worried if that makes any sense because you know it's the hospital, and with the whole coronavirus going on. Y'all, yesterday, uh, Lucky stepped out to go ship some of y'all CDs, and you guys, he came back sneezing, and, like, I noticed that he sneezed one too many times, so I had to call one of my, um, uh, old co-workers that I worked with in the medical field. I said, girl, you're gonna need to bring me some face masks and some gloves, because I'm not about to play. As y'all can see, I am basically getting everybody's order ready um for the cd if you haven't got yours and you want yours go to motivationalbum.com go get yours but while all this is going on you and me are gonna go out on a mission so stay tuned Don't come back with no virus. Give me a kiss. Let's go. I can't even lie. Like, I feel extra and a little dumb. But I'd rather be safe than sorry, you guys. And honestly, like, I'm just not about to play with this coronavirus situation. I'm pregnant. I'm low-key super scared because I'm due in a couple of weeks. So we're gonna go ask this doctor a couple questions and just, you know, weigh out my options on what's up. Like, what does she think about this? All right, guys, I just arrived to the hospital. About to have to run in here and get my checkup. Ah! I don't know how I feel about this. Okay, so I did get here early and it's about like 15 minutes prior to my appointment and um i'm thinking i'm gonna just have to go in here i drove all the way out here anyways i am 35 weeks and i am due next month you guys hopefully for y'all that know y'all know that the baby has still been in reach position so that's one of the main concerns that i have hopefully today the doctor actually examines me and tells me that she thinks the baby is in his birthing position which is head down if you don't know what breech position is basically his head was still up and his legs were down um and he should be flipped over by now but um yeah i'm gonna have to go in here and see what she tells me what's going on 
and just weigh out my options i'm really about to ask her if i could have this baby at home because girl coronavirus <laughs> So as soon as I walked in, I don't know if you saw that lady that was standing there with another patient for another doctor, but she has to get screened. Maybe I have to get screened too. Let's see. So I am chilling in the waiting room. I don't know if you can hear me, but they did screen me as soon as I got out the elevator. Look. <laughs> I'm only 163. That's okay. Um, now, if you are stuck at home, just watch how much you're eating. Yeah, I am. Okay, so, and I know it's hard right now, but just do what you can to not overeat because yes you will see a difference in that okay so stay active get outside when you can okay. and just if you are snacking make sure it's all good stuff yeah healthy stuff i have i have this right now <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> but i just feel like i've been gaining weight like crazy yes so like i said all you can do is just monitor okay because i know it's hard when you're at home like, I find myself doing the same thing. <laughs> but, baby's moving well? Yes. Okay. Yeah. So, when you come back and see me in two weeks, we're going to do the ultrasound for growth, okay? Okay. Sorry, my hands are cold. Oh, you have such a perfect belly. Is his head still? It feels like it's still up here. Sometimes it feels like he, like, moves, mm -hmm. and then he comes back in the morning. Is that possible? Yes. So, because he feels like he's head up, I'm going to bring you back in one week. Okay. Okay, because if he is breached and we can see you back at one week, then we can possibly talk about doing an external version in the hospital. Uh. Because if if baby's breech, we have to do a C-section. Yeah. Okay. But if baby can, if we can get baby to manually turn, then you can de deliver vaginally. Okay. And it depends on how much fluid you have, which you feel like you have enough. So the last version we did was successful. Okay. So we just, but it's painful, huh? Well, we give you pain medicine. Okay. So what we do is we give you a medication to completely relax your uterus, except that makes you feel like your heart rate is racing, and then we give you a whopping dose of Demerol. Okay. Okay, and so you're kind of just like, oh. Ugh. But yeah, it is <laughs> uncomfortable because we are pushing hard. But, um, but, I mean, we'd like to try to give you a vaginal delivery. Yes, I want one. <laughs> I know you do. So I'm going to bring you back one week instead of two. Okay? Okay. And so I was going to ask, um, when the whole thing going on, um, how is like the labor and delivery like being affected or what? Like, um, is there any well, right now, I believe it's just one visitor okay. per person per day, possibly two. And it has to be the same visitor each day. Okay. Um, but things are changing. It's been like that for a bit. So I can't tell you what it's gonna be like next week, okay? Um, we don't know what it's gonna be like next week. So we just have to monitor it day by day. Okay. But other than that, like exposure-wise, like the, everything's just been good, right? Yes. Everything has yes, been I mean, and just do your part by staying at home. Yeah, I know. Don't, um, you know, get around anybody. Things like that, okay? Which I know is hard. All right, y'all, so I just got to the car. Left my doctor's. <sighs> About to head back home. Um, 
there's a couple of things I need from the store. So I think I'm gonna make a stop simply because if y'all don't know, there is a basically order of stay in shelter or something like that going on in Houston, taking place as of tonight. So we're not able to leave the house. We got Kingston cleaning the grill off. Yeah, we got the girls cleaning the house. So, sweeping it up, you know what I'm saying? Washing dishes, sweeping up. You want to tell them about your roly-poly experiment? <laughs> she had a box of roly-polies in her room last night. Not all night, no. just until you got caught. Um, we got, <clears throat> we got this fire starting with our tumbleweeds. What? Yeah, yeah, just hit her head. No, they're getting chased by the dog. Yeah. Wow, with the stick. Sorry. We're finna barbecue some ribs out here, man. Just made it back home with a couple groceries. Had to restock on water. Got them some juices. And Lucky and Kingston are outside. They're turning on the pit because before I left early in the morning, I put these babies to slow cook. Ooh, they smell delicious. I wish I could smell this. I didn't have no foil, but I did just grab some. So it's perfect. It's been slow cooking on 200, so low temperatures. You been good, King? Sort of. <laughs> I just got in trouble in the morning, that's it. But now I'm in good. Yeah. One. Hey, 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 bring me an onion and a fork. What's up, with it, people? Y'all, how y'all holding up out there, man? Man, I'm being quarantined with these kids. For two hours. For about 10 days. <laughs> How long they been on spring break? Uh, Shit, it's been about 10 days. Been quarantined with these kids. Ooh, so I marinated this with my special little sauce and recipe. And these were already marinated. So we literally just threw these in the oven to bake. But I did that on my own. So all I did was I add a couple yeah. seasonings. Yeah. And also added some orange barbecue How sauce. How long they been in the oven? Since eight in the morning. What time is it right now? Noon. They've been in about four hours on low, 200. Slow and low. Now we're gonna throw them on the pit. So not only do we have ribs, but I marinated these chicken legs. Since yesterday, so it's been in the fridge for a little over the 24 hours. And we're about to barbecue these babies as well. <laughs> this looks delicious and it smells even better. Houston, what's up? What's up? What's, what's up? He's been talking so much. What's up? What you trying to do, boy? Make your little step stool? That's hot. You see the smoke? Here. What you got there? Help. Huh? Help. Food? Help. What? What we got going on right now? You want to see what we got going on? Let me show what we got going on. Mm. Mm -hmm. It's so colorful. Colorful, ain't it, baby? Chef 
Blackie in the building. Got ribs. This is the first rack of ribs. This is the beef ribs. We got the pork ribs still in there too. It just fell off the bone. You see this bone right here? We're gonna get that to the dog. Let's try it out. What do y'all like? Pork ribs or beef ribs? That looks medium rare. Mmm. -hmm. Are they good? They're good. I feel like I could have left them in there a little longer. Oh, man. Thank you, Mom. Okay, You're welcome. It's so easy to cut into Thank this you. little rib right here. Just slices. Slicing and dicing. All right, man. So this is lunch and dinner. So I hope y'all get full. There's some more. Let me get these birthday shout outs. First birthday shout out goes to Anahi Quiroga, turning 16 years old. Happy birthday to you from your dad. Jordy Reyes, turning 11 years old. Happy birthday to you, Jordy Reyes. Last but not least, happy birthday shout out goes to Chewy Steady Tatton. Already, man, appreciate y'all for watching. Stay down, stay safe, stay healthy, drink water. You know what I'm saying? I'm on this water tough right now. Stay indoors, man, stay in the house. Don't leave, stay in the day. I think it's more serious than what they telling us about.